Yo, what's going on, Bladers? This is Crow. And here today, look at this. We got the Random Booster Volume 3. Now, key thing. In my local area over here in Iwakuni in the Yamaguchi Prefecture, one store, the Adeon store, ye man, they only are allowing three per household. So I was able to get three. And I was like, well, you know, either I can come back a little bit later and then just get three more, uh, or I can go to Yamada Dinky, in which Yamada Dinky was about 150 yen cheaper and I can get as many as I want. Uh, but I just got three because I just wanted a uh, set of six and see exactly what I can get out of these six right here. But yeah, let's go ahead and talk about the new random booster. All right, guys, so take a look at what can possibly come in this new random booster. We are going to have the Tyranno Beat, and this is basically going to be the prize one that has the Quake Bit. And then you're going to have another Tyranno Beat. I don't know what uh, Ratchet and Bit this one has. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you don't get this one, you get this one. I think one of these is actually going to get the Quake Bit as well. I really didn't look too deep into the contents of this box. I really want to be surprised. Um, but I was really observing the main prize bit or the main prize blade and just seeing like how cool this is going to be. They also can get a black and red shark edge, which I think looks amazing. Uh, not as much as the purple. I still think the purple shark edge is definitely the best looking one. Uh, but the black and red definitely looks amazing. And then we're going to have a Hell's Chain right here. Love the looks of it. You're going to have a Rhino, which I don't like Rhino. Purple's a really cool color, but for the most part, I am just not a Rhino fan. Now this one... Oh my god, the dagger with that kind of like orange like coloring and the blue flames. This, I love it. I love it so much. And uh, yeah, I kind of want to use it, to be honest, in, uh, in one tournament eventually. But man, yeah, that's a really, really cool blade. I, I, I really do hope I get this one, the Shark Edge, and then the main dino. Uh, but yeah, the other three, not really too concerned. Now this is number 31 in the BX line. And now take a look back here. Oh, there's actually going to be two that's going to have the Quake bit. So that's amazing. Uh, it's really good that people are coming for that Quake bit, I believe. That and possibly the uh, the blade, the, the Tyranno beat uh, bl blade. So, yeah, if you want the blade in the bit, you probably can get like two or three of these packs. And you might get lucky enough to get um, the bit in one of these two. And then probably pull one of these two. But uh, considering this is rare... Um, yeah, you might be more inclined to be in that one. Now over here is just describing the overall aesthetics of the new Tyranno Beat, uh, which basically means with the extra height and the uniqueness of the bit, it is going to be hopping around, uh, basically just doing like some pretty massive damage uh, in a very irregular pattern. That is also going to be an attack type and a right spin. Now coming down here, look at this massive attack. That's 65. I want to say this is on par with the Drawn da Dagger, because I think the Drawn Dagger in total as stock is like 132. So I think with all these uh, together, it, it's it's very, very close to uh, being on par with the um, the Drawn Buster. And then looking here, the 470, not a big fan of the four points, to be honest, guys. So uh, this one, I'll probably opt out for... Um, a 960. Uh, that's really my comfort for um, you know the uh, attack types. But you know what? I'm still gonna try this as stock and just see how well it does. And then you're gonna have the Quake Bit, which is the brand new bit. Obviously, it's gonna have very very high attack because it is just going. To... What I've seen so far, I've only seen maybe a couple of videos, but this thing it just goes crazy in the arena. So it's gonna have that massive uh, high attack, and it looks like it possibly is gonna be catching on to the X line a little bit more frequent. And uh, looking over here, you're gonna have very very high burst resistance because obviously it is an attack type. So with the description out of the way, let's go ahead and crack into these six boxes. Now, when taking this out, I always have to look underneath because here, it's not going to actually tell me which one it is. It's on the other side, so I'm just going to put that face down. All right, so here is the big reveal. Which one is it? It is number six, so I don't know which number six is, but we'll go ahead and check it out. 
All right, so number six is going to be the Rhino, and it is going to have the Quake tip with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this aside for a bit and take a look at this bit. Now, taking a look at the Quake tip, I mean, honestly, guys, I don't think I've ever seen a bit or just any kind of point this unique in the Beyblade line. I mean, it's just like irregular pattern. It has all these like, I don't know, man. It, it, it's just so asymmetric and just very, very bizarre. It's coming down to an angle and all the different uh, gear points is gonna be coming down and exceeding on the flat bit. So yeah, I mean, this is just, just bizarre. And I am truly excited to see how it's going to perform. Now coming back over here, it is for sure a purple rhino. That's that's pretty much it. So uh, like I mentioned before, I have no you know care for the rhino. I, I I don't think it's that great of a bay, both aesthetically and performance based. So yeah, I just don't really care too much about it. All right, so let's move on to the next one. All right, so <laughs> I can already tell uh, this is not the prize bay because I accidentally cut here at the bottom. And uh, yeah, you see that peek in. Uh, it's number three. Yep, so let's go ahead and check it out. So here we have a blue and purple Hell's Chain, which I think looks amazing. Uh, I'm still more of a Hell's Scythe fan, not really a big fan of the chain. It's, it's fine, but uh, really glad I got a, um, a unique one. I didn't get another Rhino or something, but... The one thing uh, that I'm very much interested in is that we have a 980. Uh, I don't, I think, I'm pretty sure this is the first 980 because uh, the other one is a 960. So yeah, pretty cool that we get a another nine point. So yeah, I uh, don't know how I'm going to use this, if I'm going to use it on anything in particular, but uh, this as a stock, d it definitely seems pretty promising because Orb is a pretty uh, decent bit. So yeah, I'm very curious to see how this would perform as stock. And now for the next one. All right, number three. Let's see which one this is. Number five. Okay, nice. Another Quake. So here we're going to get the Shark Edge on a 160 Quake. Now I'm going to put these two to the side because I actually want to analyze this bit by bit. But look at this. I mean, that black and red with the red eyes, this is a very, very beautiful Shark Edge. Uh, definitely better than the green, and um, it's on, I would say it's on par with the purple Shark Edge. But yeah, if you can't uh, ever get the purple Shark Edge, because I think it's still going for quite a bit, like... I think maybe around 8,000, 7,000 yen. So it's still a very pricey Beyblade. But um, if you don't want that one or you can't get that one, this is a viable option for you. And if you cannot get the UX, hey, you can get a 160 Ratchet right here. So really nice. Um, yeah, pretty pretty excited for this. Uh, a one point on this does not seem that great. I'm guessing this is the direction. Uh, it probably doesn't really matter. I think out of the way, it's pretty much the same. But yeah, one point does seem pretty odd on this. It's going to definitely throw off the balance, but I guess that is why you're getting the Quake, because it's going to be off balance anyways. So being even more off balance, that's, that's going to be pretty cool. So yeah, really excited to test this out and um, just see how the performance is. All right, so we're three for three. Let's see what number four is going to give us. All right, so let's take a look. And can we get another unique one? Oh, look at that. We got a Tyranno beat. So just like the Shark Edge, we're going to be taking a look at this just kind of like individually. This is a brand new blade, and it looks just really intimidating. Look at all like the teeth that's inside here. I mean, it looks like a giant mouth just like coming to just just chomp on you. Uh, it has an aesthetic that's a lot like Shark Edge because uh, of the like upward kind of angle that the um, the blade has. So I'm assuming whenever it's spinning, it's uh, it's really just trying to it's spinning right. So it's probably going to try and go under and just like do some critical hits and knock you up. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean the part on the inside, the beast, that, I mean, that dino just looks amazing. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's just crazy how beautiful that looks. 
Well, I guess since it's a, it's a right spin, right? So it technically is spinning this way because it's spinning right. Huh. So it's actually, yeah. So it should be coming up here, but it's weird. Like I, I would assume that it would have been spinning that way. I don't know. It's, it's, it's really weird, but yeah, it's a right spin. So it's spinning like this. Huh. That's gonna be hit, that's gonna be hit really hard. Um, it has like all these little protrusions right here on the side. This thing is just gonna be massive. I'm really very much curious how um, Beyblade, you know, uh, the Japanese Beyblade Twitter um, has been having when it comes to the performance. I haven't really been on it much. Uh, I've been kind of like a little away from social media for a bit, but man, I cannot wait to just see how this performs. Definitely gonna be making a video relatively soon on just this thing in particular. It is gonna have a 360, so very, very low profile. And it's going to have a spiral bit, which, uh, yeah, I'm not really too fond of. So, yeah, if I don't get the prize in the next two, then um, I'll just give it the quake from one of the other uh, bays. And then when you have it all put together, I mean, that green just, man, it's very loud and very aggressive looking. So uh, pretty hyped about this. Just obviously I'm going to be getting rid of this uh, this part right here. I, I would actually like to see how it, it's going to perform with a 160. Hey, maybe uh, maybe it could do really good with that. But overall, I got my Tyranno beat with a Quake bit, so I'm pretty happy. All right, we're four for four. Can we get the prize one in here? All right, so we're just missing two more. I think number one and three. So uh, let's see, is this a number one or a three? Ah, it's a five. So not too upset that it is another Shark Edge. Uh, probably going to end up selling this one just because I don't really want any dupes in the collection. Uh, but yeah, hey, another Shark Edge. Here we go, number six. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can pull that prize. All right, guys, is this number one? Nope, <laughs> it is number four. All right, so I thought it was number three I was missing, but it was actually number four. So pretty hyped about this, really, really excited. Um, yeah, I mean, the ratchet and the point bit, not really too concerned about that. I mean, that's going to get replaced. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the motif on this, the colors, I really love it. Some people are calling it the Fanta Bay, bay and I, 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 whatever. I think this just looks great. I, I, I love that blue flames coming out of the mouth. Uh, I do wish that the teeth weren't black. I, I wish the teeth were white. That would have just kind of like made it pop a little bit more, but it being black is just kind of weird um yeah but the, the white eyes looks amazing uh i really just i love the dagger i i think i either i i topped in a tournament or i won a tournament with the uh, the dagger so pretty excited about this this is uh definitely one of my fa uh, favorite drawn uh bays I, I, I think this is better than the buster better than the um the sword is just it, I, I just love it it's so symmetric it just looks phenomenal all right, guys, so to conclude, um, you know, I got basically almost all unique ones, except for I did get a second Shark Edge, which sucks, but you know what? At this point, I'm not going to buy a bunch more random boosters just for the prize. I'm going to buy the prize base separately. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is good. This is phenomenal. I got five unique bays out of six uh, purchases, so... Got very lucky. Um, I'm really happy with this. If it was a bunch of duplicates, that would have just broke me completely, and I probably would have bought another set of random boosters. Uh, but yeah, with this, I'm just going to go and buy the prize straight up. Now, the plan from here, uh, just until I do get the prize bay in the mail, uh, I'll probably switch up the Tyranno beat, uh, take off the ratchet and that. Uh, don't know which one I want to do. If I want to do the... I might just take both of these, give it a one point, and see how well that does. Um, yeah, if I can get this on here. Now, just see how well a, like, completely, like, this thing has weird-ass balance. It, it for sure will, because you got a little bit more of the weight for the ratchet on this side, and then this point over here. So, it's going to be, like, leaning super hard on this side. Or maybe I should, um, I mean, this is obviously going to be changing up, so... It can go either way, but yeah, I just think that this is going to be pretty crazy uh, on those launches. Uh, we'll see. I mean, maybe this 
I have to set it a particular way. I don't know how much is going to move. Um, but yeah, if I do it like this, that's going to be like really weird. It could possibly like lean too far this side. Or if I do it this side, then it could try to more balance itself. But yeah, uh, this is just, this is beautiful. But yeah, this is just one of the coolest bays I probably have seen in the line so far. So really excited for it and uh, can't wait to go ahead and showcase it in a couple of videos. But other than that, guys, that is all from me. Uh, really happy that I got to get so many unique ones. But yeah, uh, if you like this video, please go ahead and like. If you like the channel and you like what you've been seeing, go ahead and subscribe. I mean, it's it's free, guys. It's absolutely free. And the more subscribers I get, uh, the more inclined I will be to just keep pushing out content on the regular. But as of right now, I kind of just push out maybe a few videos every three weeks. Uh, because the releases of Bays is about every three weeks. So that's what I'm kind of more inclined to do more videos is the weeks of releases. And then usually about a week or two weeks of a hiatus. Uh, just so we could do actual playing and testing and do some other hobbies and Gundams and stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, more subscribers. I'm going to probably make more videos. Other than that, guys, uh, thank you all for watching. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.